Yo, what's good, y'all? TLE here. My name is Henry, Henry Jones IV. Uh, made day two of the YCS uh, Rayleigh. Or Raleigh, however you say it. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, North Carolina. I got, I got made it to day two. Unfortunately, scrubbed out. It's all good, though. We may have had enough time to enter Zanovitz. Got this beautiful winter mat. Mm -hmm. Got this nice QCR 4x4 oh, sheet. Oh, man. Poplar, you know, all that good stuff. Tomatoes. Yeah, but uh, I just want to get straight into this deck profile. Yeah, uh, like, you know, oh, some people are like, oh, probably yeah, interested like, in this deck yeah, profile. Let's get it, bro. Go gonna for it. start off with the uh, Cash Monsters. Mm -hmm. We go three Unicorn. Mm -hmm. Three Fenrir. Mm -hmm. Three Rise Heart. Mm -hmm. One... T one skill called cash and one okay. tier cash. All right, now um, you gotta explain this. What's the tier cash? Tier about? cash is super solid. It's an extender, um, especially when situations through like where you're making heat soul. Mm -hmm. When you can use this as a proper extender without wasting skill called cash mm -hmm. to like maybe grab off a fin rear or uh, especially if you like already uh, don't have like already use rise heart effect. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. grab this after birthing and then you know mm -hmm. just go crazy. And it's also good to use this effect to get information game one on your opponent. Okay. So, you know, you can mill them and just see what they have. And sometimes it could bite you in the butt, but, you know, you, that's the did risk ever, you take. Did, it's ever, like did, ever, did it ever come up where you banished or milled their deck while Shifter was alive? Uh, yeah, several yeah. times. So, it's basically okay. like a banished six with Rise Heart and uh, Tear oh, Cash. Man. Okay. Um, yeah, it was, pretty, it was really good. There's also a situation came up where I activated a birth from normal Tear Cash and milled for three on myself and mm -hmm. i milled the unicorn so i was able to use birth effect to special summon it's like you searched unicorn yep. and, then, and then now i'm able to get to theosis and you know go crazy you know i so like lines like that i bro. definitely recommend you know using this card as a spicy tech mm -hmm. um you just gotta find your uses for it and sometimes in certain situations when you just need to draw a, a, a cash tier name just yeah. get a body on board it yeah, will just get you there yeah nice bro. um nice. yeah Let's get into the spells. We have three pressure planet, one mm -hmm. terraforming, of course. Mm -hmm. um, drew this consistently a lot. Uh, one game I was able to get to Rise Heart and get birth back just because of uh, pressure planet being top decks. Um, yeah, I, this card is very valuable because we only run on so little monsters. I'm on 11 monsters right now, so you know. Mm -hmm. Well, 11 cash monsters. Right. Yeah. <laughs> then we got, we got three birth, monsters. of course. Mm -hmm. We got three Theosis mm -hmm. and two Pros. Mm -hmm. So now, Birth was like the best card all day. I overvalue this card a lot, and you should, because this card is literally your resourcing master. Like, you can get this, uh, Rise Heart Banish this on turn one, and it just, it would just, get, you know, in those later turns where you're top decking Rise Heart and thinking it's useless, it's actually useful. And now you can use this to, you know, be, uh, be more annoying to your opponent um, against Runic Stun. This card held it down for like the entire game too. Uh, I was banishing like Runic spells, banishing like vital cards that he could possibly get back to. So it was just really good just having this card right here. Really, really solid. Theosis. Uh, I ran three. Tried to follow the rules like a good person, and yeah, I don't think I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I would definitely cut a Theosis and stick with two. Maybe turn the third theosis into a third pros but other than that yeah i don't know but in some situations it was good to have so i can't couldn't can't play too much in such a way you know with a uni imprint unicorn you can just theosis target and summon from deck mm, that's pretty spicy you know it'd be like that so now we're gonna get into traps slash hand traps um this is what i use uh, in terms of non-engine for uh ycs riley so we're just gonna get straight into that we got triple imperm Triple Mourner, Triple Bell. All right, my fault. Double Bell, Double Nib, Double Ogre, Double Ash. And last but not least, the man himself, Triple Shifter. Mm -hmm. So when I seen Shifter, Shifter baby. it was basically like turning hand traps. Trap. Yeah. How many hand traps is that? 17 hand traps. 17. 17 hand traps. No. These cards, yeah, these... Seeing like a good combination like Nib and Bell against like Fire uh, against Snake Eye, or seeing like Ogre and Imperm against like mm -hmm. uh against like Purely, and just drawing Shifter just was crazy, mm -hmm. just just outrageous. It was really nice to just see this card and like see it maybe next to a hand trap like Shifter Imperm. Um, speaking of a spicy tech Ogre, Ogre is crazy. Uh, Ogre worked very well against Purely, 
It worked very good, well against Fire King Snake Eye. Just being able to use these to like shut down, like getting to like Oak or getting to Flame Burge and just like not letting them get that head start is really nice. I think this is a text piece some people should think about. But I don't know, new format's coming, so you know, have to, might have to think about that. Um, but yeah, that's it for the main deck. How many cards do they mean? 40. Mm -hmm. 40 of them things. Then we'll go into the extra deck. We got Link Spider. So, you know, this is what we use to get into our Hiso line. I'll show you the card that actually gets us there. Uh, we have G Golem Crystal Heart, which gets these links to, uh, back, which allows you to use the Heat Soul line, as we like to call it, to get to other um, cool monsters like SP Little Knight, um, Heat Soul, of course, and Appaloosa. Now, the next card, the next link I'm uh, bringing up is because I play Nib, so I played this as a tech. I think I only made it once, and it wasn't even a situation where I used Nib. But, you know, it's still a good card. We have uh, Donner Dagger for Hire. Mm -hmm. This card is very, very solid. Um, just allows you to, you know, if you have a, a big token that you need to get rid of, just helps you get there. Um, then let's get to the spicy, spicy XYZ. So first XYZs that are generally mandatory is Zeus, Typhon. I don't think I made Typhon all day. Maybe made him once or twice, but... I don't think he like won me any games this time. Uh, Zeus came up against Runic Stun. Um, and I think that was the only time I made it, but it was a well needed situation. I was, it was just relieved to have played him and not had like banished him off for prosperity or something. So that was awesome. Next, we got the Rank 7 Toolbox. We got Kashira Shang Era. This card was the GOAT like all day. Like just making this is just like beautiful. It's just like, ugh, wow. And like it sticks. And it just holds it down. Um, we got Red Eyes Flare Metal. I made this uh, in a few situations, like knowing that they're low on life, you could just have this and put them on ice. May have forced them to like make make short plays and get this on the field, off the field at the same time. So you know it's a really good card, and it can't be destroyed by card effects while it has material. So it just it's just a card that just sticks and makes sure it's like, hey, you gotta find a way to get rid of this without destroying it. Then we got Big Eye. Big Eye was awesome. I don't think I made him a lot, but the situations where I did, I end up either o OTK my opponent that turn, or just able to take a valuable monster that they uh, couldn't uh, they couldn't out themselves. Um, in one situation, I actually used a uh, Scarecrow Cash to punch into a Chaos Angel. Um, was able to make Big Eye, um, not using Scarecrow Cash, of course, taking uh, using Big Eye detached, taking the Chaos Angel while it's negated, and then uh, passing turn. So now I have a negated Chaos Angel. Then we go Harmonizer, Dark Arms, and Draco Sack. Draco Sack is the card that makes these uh, that makes the uh, Link Spiders because they make tokens, and those tokens can just turn into Link Spider because they're normal monsters. So it's really nice. Then we got the side deck. Side deck. I was trying to test something for the, eh, more or less testing these out. And like before, prior to the uh, to the event, and I think they, they were showing good results. First, we got uh, Spear Mode. Um, mm, Spear Mode, okay. I think I summoned this around two against Magic Specter. Yeah. They had uh, Secret Village of Spellcasters up, and I just gave them this. And then they uh, attributed a Spellcaster, so it left them on no spells that they could use. Mm -hmm. So it was just good to have that to remove all those uh, problems. And just have this up and then like be able to like deal with uh, super builds or spellcaster on its own um then we just go into the spells we got double cosmic double book of eclipse double dimensional fissure double lightning storm one duster of course and triple judgment um these cards are crazy uh let's let's get into them um cosmic Cosmic did his job against Runic Stun, uh, just drawing into it and having a way to out it with other cards to like do his job. Like Rafe Soft was just able to just like have apply that added pressure. Book of Eclipse never came up. I'm probably gonna take that on and change it for something better. Die Fi, I definitely want to bump up to three. This card is very, very, very valuable and should be uh, played because if you're doing the Heat Soul line specifically, um, Lightning Storm and Duster came up in a few in a few games. 
But overall, I would say it, it still sticks because we, you know, still do a lot of back row hit. Um, and then judgment. Judgment is just for those game threes, those games where you need to protect your board because they know you're on cash and, you know, board breakers go crazy. Um, yeah. So that is the side deck. That is all. Just wanted to give a shout out to everybody out there. Shout out mm -hmm. to Ali for the testing. Shout out to my homies back home. Shout out to my mom. Love you, mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, TLEL. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs>